Welcome to the Alternative Investor coming to you live from the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Well, the top 20 global uh, best performing fund managers made $63.5 billion for their investors during last year's coronavirus driven market turmoil, making it the industry's best year to date, uh, even in the past decade or so, even though it was a challenging year for U.S. giants uh, such as Bridgewater and Renaissance Technologies. But to give us perspective in terms of what happened locally, we're joined by Jean-Pierre Fristat, who is the CEO of Protea Capital Management. Jean-Pierre, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thanks, Natasha. Natasha. Good uh, being with you. So last year was a year like no other. I mean, when you look at the positioning of your portfolio prior to, uh, you know, the pandemic rolling out, let's call it during the beginning of the year and the end of the year, did your funds perform the way you would have expected them to? Broadly, yes. Our flagship fund, the Protea Worldwide Flexible Qualified Investor Hedge Fund, returned just over 14%. Uh, but it was a very interesting year. We came into 2020 having quite a bit of exposure to the hospitality and travel sectors. We held some shares in airlines, for instance. We held shares in hotel groups internationally and locally. And, uh, and when March happened and we had the big drop in share prices, those hospitality and travel shares uh, did particularly badly, unfortunately. Luckily, because our portfolio was so diversified, we made money on some of our short positions and we came through March with a drop of, uh, of single digits, much less than the market. And then through the rest of 2020, technology did very well for us. We have a number of uh, stocks in the technology sector in our worldwide fund. And by the end of the year, our positioning didn't look very different to the beginning of the year, except that we still have a lot of uh, technology exposure, but much less hospitality and travel exposure. So we are broadly satisfied with the performance of 2020. Jean-Pierre, what I love about this segment is that it's kind of like Investor 101 or Masterclass 101 where experts like yourself are given the opportunity to basically school us on how the industry works. When it comes to the hedge fund industry, I mean, under what conditions do you make money? Does it thrive? Sure. So I think firstly, it's important to mention that hedge funds are not homogenous. You get hedge funds that use very different strategies in terms of trying to make money. What they all have in common is they have long and short positions. But it could be in equities, it could be in fixed income, it could be in commodities. So normally what helps a hedge fund is if there is volatility. And that's because volatility equals opportunity. When share prices are more volatile, it gives you more opportunities to buy shares that are cheap and more opportunities to short shares that are expensive. Now, it should also be said that there's also more opportunity to lose money. So more volatility is also more risky. And therefore, a hedge fund manager, if they are good, should also focus primarily on risk and make sure that volatility doesn't increase the risk of their portfolios. So basically, hedge funds tend to do well where there's volatility. But at the same time, a few hedge funds could do particularly badly when there's volatility because of bad risk management. And over a long period of time, you see the difference in risk management. Because over a long period of time, the good hedge fund managers and the bad hedge fund managers have got very different investment profiles and investment returns. So we tell all investors, whatever you do, you need to have comfort in the strategy that the hedge fund manager follows, but still focus on the long term. That is where the skill of the hedge fund manager will shine. For an investor who has, uh, or rather who likes a bit of risk here and there, um, what percentage of one's net worth should be exposed to a hedge fund? Well, I would say that, and once again, I can't speak for all hedge funds, but a good hedge fund manager decreases risk by utilizing short positions. And therefore, one shouldn't necessarily see hedge funds, all hedge funds, as being more risky than traditional equity funds. In South Africa, according to Regulation 28, which is the legislation that puts limits on what exposures pension funds can take, up to 10% is allowed for alternative investments like hedge funds. Internationally, it's closer to 40%. If you look at the type of hedge fund exposure that big US pension funds and endowments have, 
So one can look at either the 10% of pension funds locally or the 40% of endowments and pension funds internationally to get some idea of what other investors think is an appropriate allocation to hedge funds. It would be remiss of me if I didn't take an opportunity to ask you what do you make of the GameStop uh, rally that's playing out in the US and as it's basically spreading out to different parts of the world right now. It's been fascinating, Nastasha. It's, it's been like watching a, a soap opera this, this last week. And I already referred in, in our discussion today regarding risk management. Now, what we are seeing in the GameStop situation is a short squeeze and a short squeeze on GameStop specifically because it is, it is known that GameStop is a heavily shorted stock, primarily, primarily by Melbourne Capital, but some other hedge funds as well. And what that means is if the share price rises strongly, that really hurts those hedge funds that are short and they are forced to buy back their shares. And because they sold the, short, uh, sold the shares short so aggressively, it means they need to buy them back aggressively if the share price would rise. And that is where the whole Wall Street bets legion of retail investors cotton onto this idea of driving up the share price where someone else is then forced to buy back the shares which drives up the share price even further so it's a fascinating situation i would say that some hedge funds will get hurt those who don't employ good risk management some hedge funds ultimately will make money from this like we saw with the volkswagen short squeeze and a few other uh, short squeezes in the past where at some point in time share prices need to come back to earth it's like gravity you don't know exactly when but it does happen in the end. And I expect therefore that GameStop at some point, I don't know how high it will go, but I know that the fundamental value is quite a bit lower than the current share price. And at some point in time, the share price will probably come down very aggressively as well. So I'm watching from the sidelines. I don't have a short position in GameStop. It's too risky for me, but it's fascinating. All right, Jean-Pierre, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Let's leave it there. I really look forward to chatting with you in the next few months to see whether that volatility that we touched on does uh, lend itself to your strategy as well.